Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kevin Harvick's Bush Light for the Farmers Ford for 2022. As always, take a quick look at the box. Once again, you just have the generic crappy box. Made total 504 of these things. This one only got just to MLQ again. Said Harvick's had some weird issues with diecast this year. I'm not really entirely sure why. But anyways, let's just skip right to the car itself. Kevin Harvick raced this in the Kansas race in the spring. Or I guess it would be the summer. I don't know. But he raced this in the first Kansas race like it's been ran the couple last couple years. Finally get a brand new paint scheme after a couple years of the corn car. Now, if you're wondering why it's green and yellow or you're thinking, hmm, farming in green and yellow, isn't that something? And yeah, you would be right. This car is actually a John Deere car. Here's one of the For the Farmers cans. You see it has John Deere in it. Now, the car is, you know, colored like the John Deere colors, but it doesn't actually say John Deere on it. Like you can see on this can on the side that John Deere is cut out of the bottom. The only real explanation for that I can think of is the fact that Stuart Haas Racing is, of course, sponsored by Mahindra Tractors with Chase Briscoe. So they already had a tractor sponsor, so I don't think they could have a competing tractor sponsor on one of their cars. I imagine that's what happened. But it is kind of funny. Like I said, we still got a John Deere colored car. Like I said, it's the green and yellow John Deere colors. Honestly, it's probably good that this doesn't have John Deere logos on the car because John Deere is very odd with their licensing. They're like Coca-Cola. Like if you remember back like in, what was it, 2017 was it? Or 18? I don't know. Whatever year that you had Ricky Stenhouse, he ran the original John Deere paint scene with John Deere at Darlington Throwback Weekend. That was never offered... He ran a brand new John Deere paint scheme like in Indianapolis. That was never offered. So I feel like if this had John Deere logos, we might have not gotten the die cast. So maybe it's a good thing. But I said, this is just a beautiful, beautiful car. We have, it, we've been kind of lacking on the Bush paint schemes. I mean, they, they did really, you know, pick it up at the end of the year. We had that beautiful throwback. We had the great hunting car. He had the Halloween Bush car. But like I said, this year was kind of lame with the Bush cars, like especially in the middle of the year. They weren't bad, but they just weren't as exciting as some of these bush cars. But this one definitely looked great. You have, like, that great farmland down the side. Got some hay bales, some, like, wheat. You got a great farm. Still got the bush mountains and everything. Like, it is a really cool-looking car. This does have the updated rims. We finally get those on a Ford. I said this is going to be one of those things where, like I said in the past videos, where you're going to get cars for like a year still that have the, you know, inaccurate black rims, but there's going to be random cars. Like every shipment now has like half the cars have the correct rims, half the cars don't. I don't know. But anyways, let's do a 360 of the car again. And then get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Bush Light brewed in the USA. Does have the yellow outline to the Bush logo like the can. It's pretty cool. This one is accurate. As you can see, the vents are going through the logo, as they should. That's going to be another thing I think we're going to go back and forth on all year. Anyways, you got Ford Mustang number four and Stuart Haas Racing. Down the side, you have hashtag for the farmers. Got Subway, Pristine Auctions, and Hump Brothers Pizza back there. As of right now, the few renders they put up for 2023 are missing Subway. So it seems like Subway may have left the team. But you never know. There's there's always those times where it might still be just in, you know, discussion. So it might not be in the renders, but then suddenly pop up by the time we get to Daytona. Who knows? Anyways, in front of the rear wheel, you got Mobile One and a very pointless Bush Light logo. That's really funny. Like, what was the point of that? It's like, huh, I wonder what this car is sponsored by. <laughs> but I don't know. Anyways, on the C post, you have Gear Wrench. You see that window is not lined up at all with that thing. On the B post, you have Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Hump Brothers Pizza, and Rush Truck Centers. This was ran, you know, close to the Coke 600, so it does have the NASCAR Salutes logo. They put it there this time instead of putting on the A-Post, because they don't really like to put anything on the A-Post anymore, because it's so much smaller. Which, I mean, you could still fit something there, especially this little logo, so I don't know. On the back, you have Bush Light, Mobile One, and Number 4. Got the Ford Michigan license plate back there. This does have the updated clear spoiler as well. Got Bush Light on the deck lid, pristine auctions on the roof. This is number 18, so a lower number there. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you got powered by Ford, Mobile One, Haas, and Wix filters. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously no deck lid, the roof flaps of course do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. 
just another really cool Bush special paint scheme. Not a whole lot to talk about with something like this. Like I said, it's kind of funny that we ended up with a John Deere car without getting a John Deere car. But it is also kind of funny. Like I said, there's a lot of people that for some reason don't haven't made the connection, even though the cans are all John Deere. Like there's a bunch of people that were asking, like, why is it green and yellow? It's like, because it's John Deere. <laughs> but definitely a cool paint team. Like I said, I'm glad they finally changed away from the corn car. I did like the corn car, but it was definitely I, I, something like this. I feel like should be changed every year. I don't really like copying special one off paint schemes like that. Especially after it won the year before, then they just kind of threw it onto their own Bush sponsored race. Was this race still sponsored by Bush? I honestly can't remember if this was still a Bush sponsored race that he ran this in or if it was a different sponsor this year. But if you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. I would not be surprised if this gets rare, especially with, you know, like I said, how Harvick diecast has been going this year. He's already had like two or three different paint schemes canceled, where Harvick usually never has stuff canceled like that. So I don't know. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com, and if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Let's go check that if you want anything. But I think it's all there is to say, this has been a review of Kevin Harvick's Bush Light for the Farmer's Ford for 2022. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.